gentlemen, with some Street Fighter 6 action. We got Still T versus Crunky up next. We got Crunky again. Yep, it's back. Crunky was, uh, you're good. Kuma player. And Tekken 8. Who's Crunky playing this game? Uh, I guess Cammy. Cammy, we're going opposite styles. Mm. <laughs> I can respect that. That's how I play Fighter. People will be like, ah, I you played this style of character. I didn't think you would. And it's like, man, I'm going to play five different fighting games. I'm not playing the same type of character. That does not sound fun to me. When it's all said and done, they go call me a legend. And Stealthy, always go with Kimberly. Because mm -hmm. you can't have enough Kimberly's in Kentucky. And I'm not, we're, we're the, hey, K is for two things here. Whoa. We're proving it. We're keeping it in. You know, I never made the connection until now that you mentioned it. <laughs> I didn't know you this coming in. A lot of things make sense now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so what does this matchup look like, Tubi? How do you feel? What do you put your eyes on this right here? So, Kimberly versus Cammy. Obviously, I know Cammy excels at fighting against Zoners and whatnot, but against another Rushdown character? It's kind of interesting that... I don't know too much, but I do know Cammy is a really scary character in this game. Yeah, it, it feels like she would get to do everything she wants to. Mm-hmm. Oh gosh, that's another thing. So that's one thing about Cammy is that she has a wake up option, a wake up DP, unlike yeah. Kimberly. Yeah, very true. It just seems that the tempo that these characters want to play. Cammy would have an advantage. Here's the thing, though. Kimberly, you can never rule out the trickster factor mm -hmm. in a fighting game. It is worth more than words can describe on paper. Yeah, she definitely is a trickster, um, because I remember talking to Stealth about, like, how she kind of excels if her opponent doesn't know the matchup and how you can, like, punish a lot of her tools, like the teleports and whatnot. Yeah. Alright, level one. Get out of the corner. It's always nice when you catch somebody out of a drive rush, too. It's like they basically wasted drive. And here we have it again. Because that's another thing, her um, forward heavy kick. Um, You can challenge that, or challenge her mix-up, but I don't think Crunky knew that. It kind of just, like, took the mix-up. Didn't have to, but took it. Mm -hmm. oh. In this nightmare suit. See it there it is. Mario says no. Yeah, this is scary. <gasps> Stealthy though, with two bars, so any hit could still be over. But he has a burnout. Cammy has a lot of plus buttons when you're in burnout. Mm hmm. That's what makes her so scary. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Stealth needs to do. Fade out some um, reactions from Crunky, because as soon as we say, like, Crunky can challenge on um, Kimberly's mix-ups, when she go, does the backdash, fades it out, that's a free punish for Stealth. Uh, yeah. Well, Stealth, honestly, looking pretty good that, that, uh, that first game. Mm -hmm. Still, I think this is definitely doable, but Crunky, certainly, can't do that. Seeing it again. Gets the sweep, but nothing else of it. Level one too far away. No, oh, I know. I wanted to do it too, so. Oh, he's barely alive. Conky doesn't spend the meter. In burnout, can get some greedy things. Oh, it's Jump good save. read! Oh, but. I can't believe you don't get a punish off of that. Yeah, the fact that it like, travels across the whole screen, it really makes it safe with Stealth jumping over it. Stealthy, right. yet again. Great round, though. Just too late for it, though. Yeah. It looks good. Great anti-air. It's the hit. Now, with the corner pressure, Crunky skits out. Oh, um, yet again. That's the thing I've noticed about Stealth. He is really... Um, hap or trigger happy on activating level one because I know it is like Kimberly's only the two misses. This is two. It is her like only wake up option, but I think Crunky starts like get some good reads on stealth here. Yeah, that he... seen it. This time Ooh, this... though, it's it 
this time. Hey, if it works the third time, it works. You know what? I, I, that counts. <gasps> oh my gosh, this level hey, three. Hey, level three reaction to oh, this works. Wow. Quoki, taking a second one on the board. So I rarely see that move in, and that's what blew my mind is when it did just completely win. He still couldn't punish it. Oh, the level three. Yeah. Or? Cammy's because it shoots you so far away, so even when he neutral jumps. Oh, yeah. It's Cammy. Because, yes, Delphi had the right idea of um, expecting the wake up option. It was just unfortunately the wrong approach to it because it left them an opportunity to not punish it. Yeah, it was wrong. <gasps> Snuck in a crouching jab. That's how. Hey, by the eye. Not again, though. Crunky just getting right out, but doing it to stealth. Stealth and burn out. We've said Kimber. Yep, that's the only way to get out of that situation when you're in a burnout. Yeah, great call when you're in a burnout because you don't have anything else. You said, we've said Kimberly's scary in burnout, but honestly, Cammy. Yet again, this is a festival of driving backs, but it's working. Stealthy, spending it. And then the, you got to drive pressure to keep that pressure, for sure. Oh. Wait. Oh. Uh. Well, I don't know, we're still in it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it still gets it. Woo, man. On the board. I got Bun Checker says they got 40 schmackles on stealth. <laughs> Bun Checker got 40 schmackles on stealth. You know what? I'll see. I'll see your 40 schmackles and raise you 17. Blam, bam. Cause I'm I'm feeling pretty good about it. With a anti air like that, stealthy looking so, pretty so good. Checker, always great to see that human in chat. One of our one of our VR players. Oh yeah. Was. First in my heart, maybe not first, but top three in my heart. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. First in my heart. <laughs> oh, that's it. Stealth Check takes you're it. In, you're in chat, you get it. Stealth, stealth on the board. Speaking of words. Alright, let's go Button's stealth. Looking to get some 40 schmackles. Stealth just looking to get another. That was good. So on the board now. Anything's doable. Once you win one game, you feel like you can do it. Okay, can we just talk about that cannon spike reached from that far away? <laughs> it's a, yeah, it does. Honestly, all of Cammy, Cammy's, like, uh, distance traveling moves surprise me. <laughs> <Why> they, <laughs> yeah. It's like, her weakness is her range, and then it's like, not if you're looking at that level 3, it's not. Not if you're looking at that cannon spike, it's not. Lock and stealth in the corner and burnouts. We've said they can't really scare any burnout, but Cammy is also pretty scary. Uh oh. Alright, this is grab. Throw. Oh, players just looking for the commitment in neutral. Stealthy finds the DI. Stealth starting to get a download on this matchup. Feeling it, feeling it. Oh, I love the attempt to go for the anti air, but unfortunately, did it a little too early. Crunking a grab off of that missed grab or missed anti air. Focus on this. Oh, oh my gosh. 
taking for him to do is just play a little bit more patient yeah. just wait for Crunky yeah. to go out for those like um, wake ups and whatnot and the reactions to um hooligans and basically just any kind of like anti or aerial approach Crunky's going for really getting that DI honestly that DI is one of quite a few at this point too stealth can't do di any more DI's in burnout here yeah, we're gonna have to see here without Without your samurai sword stuff. Crunky's like, that's fine, I've never liked samurai. Oh. More of a barbarous human. Oh my gosh, that's right. You can't punish spiral arrow on block when you're in burnout. Wow. That's just gonna be a lot of chip that stealth's gonna have to eat.
here in chat. Button Jagger says, Winnie the Pooh guy takes it. I can't be mad. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh guy? <laughs> if I, if I was, and I was thinking about this, because like I said, I'm always thinking about the mm -hmm. If I was playing Pooh, and I chose to go Winnie the Pooh out, right? Mm -hmm. I would just straight up change my tag to Honey King. <laughs> right? Like, you gotta commit. Oh, I get it. Man, that reminds me. I was watching this, like, Mortal Kombat 10 tournament. There's this player who had the gamer tag of, like, best Raiden and didn't even play Raiden. Oh, that's good. I saw me playing with the tag Arslan Ash and it made me giggle a lot. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. Like, no wonder, no wonder these lads have such great reads. <laughs> Shin. Shin's good. Uh oh, I gotta switch the names. I didn't. It's not Shin, you lied to me. Wait, I'm. Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Why did I switch names? That is Shin. Oops. Dude, be trying to trick me out here. Shin's a player I have, I've only got to see play in person. Play this mm -hmm. Great play. Forgot to commentate once. Uh, and, you know, I'm always excited to see jury. We saw a lot of juries, and then people just stopped. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, uh, you don't see it as often. I think it's just a matter of, like, the game evolved, the meta, or not the meta, but the game evolving over time. People realizing, like, how broken certain characters like Luke and Ken are, kind of, like, gravitate more to that. That's why you see so many Lukes now, just everyone realizing he can kind of just, like, play his own game. You have, like, Phase 1, and that's, like... Yeah, you know, the anime character, like, turns his hat around backwards and goes, nothing's gonna stop me from picking the character I love most. Yeah. And now we're in the phase two. We're past the honeymoon phase. Now people are growing up. Listen, you want to do 40% off of the jab finger, you're gonna pick this character. <laughs> but Shin's sticking with it. And it's showing. Actually, now that I think about it, now that Splash has been um, playing this game again, who used to be He's, uh, oh, Splash, Splash is playing. Yeah, Splash is playing again. Who no, no, no. is still playing Jury, but I was thinking about switching Kimberly, oddly enough. <laughs> oh, I did not know that either. Yeah. Yeah, I heard Splash is retiring, and I was like, alright, respect. But, it's glad we have some Jury representation. Oh, that is gonna that should take kill. time. Yellow health should be enough. Both of these players fighting back and forth. Wit to wit, brow to brow. One apiece. I can't believe it. Oh my god. We're, We're going, going to the final, final round. round. The second time tonight. Well, second time Street Fighter. <laughs> second Street Fighter. Hey, the gods have not been giving us our final rounds, too. I will say that right now. <laughs> I feel like it's hard to go with final rounds when you're going, uh... Take a turn. Yeah. Yeah, mathematically. Mm -hmm. The odds are just war against us. <laughs> yeah. You know, it makes it special in its own right. I'll tell you though, I've seen some tech in final rounds here. Oh man, say that again. Anyway, go back to the match. Shin? And she crunky a little closer to the corner, but Shin about to go into burnout. Uh Crunky just getting out of it. Locks it! Not even scared. Yeah. So calm. In burnout, look at this movement though. Oh wow. Ooh, the low. They were locking low too. I can't believe the low one, wake up super, he's gonna get punished. Crunky on the board. And... and so really, what is Crunky doing? That, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier. He's chilling out harder, getting mm -hmm. his punishes. You don't always have to double down. Mm -hmm. I mean, Shin got pretty scary there. I had like one bar of drive yeah, at one point. <laughs> Honestly, really surprised that Shin lost that first match. There were many times where he was predicting the right thing and then just somehow didn't. That time when he blocked low three times and then just somehow Crunky hit him low in between him blocking low again. And I was like, oh. I don't know how you hit that. <laughs> it's that underestimating Jamie's reach, man. <laughs> yeah. Goes back, thinks that he might be able to catch a wake-up option. And again, the Crunky's chill. Crunky's like, you're not gonna catch me, wake-up, DP. Fuck off. I'm lucid. Just calm 
just like reacting to yep. Shin's drive rushes has punished both of Shin's last two drive rushes. Has not been deterred. He's not been stressed out about his plan or chilling out. Let's just play some nooch. Mm -hmm. Shin gonna slowly build up that drive Double gauge. Throw. Finally uses it and not a good look for Crunky, honestly. Let's go back to being chill. Oh my final gosh. round. I can't believe it. We're going to the up final up. round. For the third time in Street Fighter. <laughs> We've got it. The, these gamers get us. Mm -hmm. They know what we're looking for. The commentators want one thing. We just want some good games. And it starts with an F. <laughs> The hits. Shen, though, this is this is what you want to see. Scary Oru shenanigans. Mm-hmm. This is the jury that everyone was scared about and still scared about. Just like locking yeah. your opponents in the corner, just like almost like combos that just don't end with their stocks. I remember when we had the first big tournaments of uh, Street Fighter 6 at the end of last year. I was asking people, I'm like, who were you, who were you afraid of? Who were you looking at? Shin was the name a lot of people would say. Mm. This is, uh, this is somebody to look out for. And Frankie just played. Listen, the Honey King never sleeps. <laughs> That's just the way the world works. Speaking of never sleeping, another round on the floor. Another bushels of bees bamboozled by the honey king himself. How, ma how many bee, how many bee, um, alliterations can we get in here? How many honey and bee alliterations can we get? That's oh. what I'm here to do. This is the real question. This is one of those real questions. Yet again, I've been preaching about to do. <laughs> Shit, right? This is what happens. Like, pretty much, neither of them, like, commits anything to the first game. Alright, now let's start I think Krunky survived. Yep, barely though. And oh, so close to burnouts! Oh, oh. That's the thing. You get hit anyway. When Cammy's got that grin of you, you are taking damage. It's funny because I, wa I remember watching a video Punk made, um, I think a week ago, talking about like things he wants to change to Street Fighter 6. One of the things he mentioned is I'm um, nerfing level 3s, because it feels like, at times, just like doing a simple confirm into a level 3 is all you need to like win the entire round. It really is. I mean, we kind of saw that there with Crunky, just like a simple confirm after Shin like got such a good level 3 combo was enough for them to take the game. Well, you know, uh, this game's a lot more universalized, too. So, like, uh, what that means is that every character basically gets a combo. It's inherent. It's just a trickier thing to balance. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. No matter what happened right there, would have been a rough scenario. But mm -hmm. yeah, I totally feel what you're saying. That's a really good point. I think what they should do is, instead of nerf being level threes, I think they just need to buff the other supers. Like give the players like more reason to go for those supers instead of like always saving up for level three. That's why I say. I think the hardest thing to balance in games is. Because you don't know how people are buying and selling and we just see the market for it. Yeah. And right, right now with Six, it's just like, there, there's so many questions of how to balance this game. Mm -hmm. uh, it is really tough to say what the economy will be. <gasps> oh my gosh, did Shin work? Shin just got drive and Red. time. Oh Solid. Gosh. Shin. Switch, I think. A letter stage switch. Beach stage. Don't always say it, always will. We go on the beach stage. Man. Beach <laughs> fighter. Oh, man. <laughs> the real game. Back to character. It might just be to chill. Okay, it's just to chill. Yeah, I'll just take the I, mean, I would breathe. We were just talking about how much you can win just by chilling out. Mm hmm. I think that, that's where I'm going needs in this situation, going to game five, just going back to character select, just take a breather, assess the situation, think about Shin's game plan, and go off of that. Yep, game five. Back and forth. Did it for 
Ted. The Honey King showing how he got where he was. And so much as Shin didn't get full punish in Spiral Arrow. Still has a lot of a lot of resource to work with. Just hoping to not go into burnout and manage to survive that. God, it's that area before your drive starts to charge. And you're like, man, it's so small I can get shipped. Now is in burnout. That might be. That's not going to be the end for him, but that is going to hurt. Crunky. Both characters are burnout. I don't even know what you do. Does that work? That worked! I was like, Crunky is really eager to put themselves in burnouts, which... Very surprised. Ooh. Very surprised. Wild. Wild round right there. It was a risk um, well rewarded, though, as Crunky got the round win and has two bars going to round two. Yeah, very true. Crunky uh, with an advantage of economy. And... Honestly, yet again, the chill out meter that is winning one of them the game. Yeah, I think I'm, I think Shin also has noticed that Kronky just playing a little more defensively in that chill state. He's going for less um risky um Shin jump doesn't do anything to take this right here. Still saving meter though. It says no, I'm good. I don't need it. Both characters going into final round with three bars, totally prepared. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Oh my god, we're, we're going, going to the final round! round! The fourth time in Street Fighter today. Final round, they keep having it and we keep loving it. Shen versus Kronky. One of these is not like the other, but both of them have the world to spend. A oh. huge whiff! I think that was a misinput. I think Kronky was supposed to go for Spyro Arrow instead. Because he kind of shook his head there. Probably. Uh, yeah, that would, uh, that would make a lot of sense. It's easy to happen. Well, wow, it just goes for level 3 straight. What? Yeah, it's time to spend it. Hey, he I... has a big enough life lead to where he says it's worth it, even if it doesn't kill. I want you to be scared. I'm a firm believer in, like... It's usually worth going for a level 3, especially in final round, because you never know if you're going to get another chance to go for it. But Shen, willing to put themselves in burnout to it's take the game! Hit. That's how feelings are made! Shen taking it 3 2. My goodness. Wow. Woo. So, how are we exactly doing this? There's a pool, and then we just go to grand finals? Is that how it works, or? Um, so basically, everyone gets to play everyone in round robin. That's what this means. So, I think we have two more matches that I think we're just going to play out, and that'll be the it for the tournament. And one of them, which we're having up next, is BDC versus Stealth. Which I gotta update the scoreboard. Okay, so we have two more matches. Yes. And then the winner is just whoever has the most points. Yeah, whoever has the most wins, which is looking to be Shin at the moment. There we go. So, I don't know if you know BDC, but BDC is a Manon player here. In oh, alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. They go a lot to um, mash outs, and start been attending a lot of flex fights here. Cool. There's the known right there, but they do play um, a few other characters, but I think it depends on like whether the character they're playing against is a good matchup for Manon or not. Gotcha. So primarily team Manon. Mm-hmm. But has a couple other characters. I mean, I'll, I love seeing the character I play being played, but... <laughs> Who doesn't? You know? Always great to see. Yeah. You get so excited, especially when you don't play like a top player. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're like, what? Somebody's playing Gary? Nobody plays Gary. Gosh, I remember CEO. Last year, there were two Manones in top eight. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, really? Yeah, oh, the cool. first ever major, two Manones in top eight, and that'll never happen again. Yeah, you gotta take them when you can get them. That's for sure. Oh, goodness. But, yeah, Stealthy versus BDC. Let's get it. Let me play this game. 
team. Taking this time here in neutral, BBC. He's gotten one grab already. Good hit here. We're getting the party started with um, the air grab. I don't remember what's called. He's just looking in the corner now. BBC not able to get out of it. Oh no, he dropped the combo. He could have had it. He could have been over and still could be. He's gonna have to pull another feather out of his hat. Oh, <gasps> jumps over the grand grab. Alright, the grab. He's gonna take it for stealth. So I think Stealth is always going to be after it for like any kind of setup BDC goes for. He goes for like the two tar car carbon target combos to close Stealth in, but as Stealth has like jumped over like the command grab both times. But now we're seeing BDC be more reactive to Stealth's options, going getting two command grabs, two medals. Manon has now. Yeah, more than more than the entirety of the last game. Mm -hmm. One round. And the air interaction is going to take. So you would say the the reason BDC was able to get those is uh, instead of trying to go YOLO, chosen to be more like I'm going to wait for you to mess up to get the grab. Mm -hmm. Given how both um, command grabs were from like a perfect parry punish and a DI. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. And I mean, I guess like when you're playing, but now that is really what you have to think is like, what's the way? Not what's the way to get the grab. How do you, you know go go on? Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm uh, sorry, but like that target combo, BDC went for it. Instead of going for the grab grab, he went for the lows and says, I think still tried to jump over it. That's why he got hit by the lows now. Oh, okay. Good DI from Stealth, though. Gets the parry, but nothing from it. Tried to get another command grab. Oh, that's, that's super punishable. Super punishable. Trying. Stealth just beat any hit. I mean, looking for love when Valentine's Day was a few days ago. Brother, just a few days short. Oh, you hate to see it. <gasps> oh no! One more good read. BDC can take it. Oh. Woo! That happened twice though, where BDC would just like started making this comeback from a pixel. I can't believe it. We're going to the final round! So for the fifth time, Stealthy King level 3 in final round. Stealthy just ending it. And you know, it's so nice, that buff. Like, mm -hmm. now has it, and uh, pretty close on life, pretty close on all other resources, really. Mm -hmm. But now, with 3, an okay place to be stock wise and now in Burnout. Oh, that is scary. Everyone's alive somehow. Ooh, just runs back and now puts, stealthily puts himself in the corner. Okay, level one could take it. <gasps> no. Okay, we're getting the reset Still instead. Still alive somehow, oh my god. Uh, this is nerve-wracking to me. Stealthy. Just is not done playing the video game yet. Oh, PDC does it again. He goes for the low with the target combo. BDC, stop waiting until your last pixel of health to play the video game. Oh my gosh. You have to start playing 
the video game at the beginning of the round from now on. Goodness, what a game that was. What? But it feels like that was game five the way they were hitting each other. Mm hmm. Yeah, BDC showed three times in a row that he is never out of this. Mm hmm. Stealthy's gonna have to keep. Uh, Eat his carrots and keep his eyes set, because he's gonna have to make sure he keep. He, he needs to BDC look out. Is never out of this. He needs to look out for like BDC's options, because like that's twice in a row we've seen BDC go for that target combo into the lows instead of the command grabs. So I think yeah. BDC, oh god. So it's on the table now. Mm -hmm, yeah, it's yeah. on the table, and I think Stealth realizes it's off the doesn't realize it's off the table now. Yeah, because like he's only going for those command grabs, only like. Confirm situations like the DI clash. Pull two? Okay, that's what's been dead. Alright. Just chill. Perfect parry. Get the seen a lot of those from BDC as well. Oh, and the drive impact. That's gonna, gonna take gonna it. Do it. With four medals now, into final round. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I really can't believe it. Oh my god. We're going to final round. I've lost track how many final rounds we've gone, honestly. You know what, but we felt each and every one of them. And this one, mm -hmm. finally, BDC at four stocks. And for the first time, I feel like in any round, has the life. Oh, Stealth knew that was going to win. the hit and the punish. This is going to hurt into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is the level three affected by the stocks? No. The only thing that's affected are her grabs. Okay, Basically, good. her command grab and the hit grab. Those are the only things that are affected. Like, this is going to do monstrous damage. But, to, but we didn't see it. Because stealth was already dead. <laughs> BDC looks vicious that game. Mm -hmm. That game, those close rounds turned into pummelings. I mean, I genuinely believe it was just like that matchup install he got in game two, knowing that he can't just, like, go f for those, like, command grabs in neutral he just needs to only, he can only get them from like hit confirms the eyes he's always going for the lows when he gets the target combos keeping his opponents closer to them empty hop into the low you know yeah bdc is going for a lot more parries because that's kind of like one of Manon's only wake up options. And the good thing about getting a perfect parry is that it's a confirm um, metal into either her command grab or hit grab. Yeah, well, we saw, I mean, that was the major adjustment in uh, game two. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it was these, good, these guaranteed grabs now. So, perfect parry. Yeah, it's funny because, like, if you don't have a wake up option, it's okay. Because in this game, you still have access to one of the best wake up options. Mm -hmm. Which is just perfect, Mary. Yeah. Quite good. <laughs> so I think what Stealth probably needs to do, <gasps> Stealth can check BDC out. And oh, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. BDC was ready. He tried to read that uh, jump and twice, which is good not get it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's... Oh my gosh, he hit the two in a row. This is scary for a round two. You're nervous now. Ooh, but it's the read stealthy in this. I think we're seeing level three. Ooh, no. BDC not the only one growing. Stealthy's learned some lessons and had some laughs themselves. That's it. BDC takes it. Oh, I'm so no, no, stupid. No, no, I no, forgot. No, no, no. You know where ah, we are. I forgot. You know this land. Ah. To be so hyped. Forgot what I could hardly believe myself. You can tell me. You can say that again. <sighs> I can't believe it, but yet again, and perhaps for the final time this match, we're going, going to the final, final round. round. Final round. Stealthy. Who started out on top now is gonna need something wild to get out of this. Yeah. Does not get grabbed. He needs to adapt to BDC's adaptation. He needs to jump out. And I'm, now he's gonna have to do some sauce. Was he blocking? Oh, yeah, that level two does decent amount of damage. Enough for BDC taking 3 1. Woo! 
Yeah, I genuinely believe it was that, um... Now, I didn't reverse three stock, but that first game felt so long and intense. It felt mm -hmm. like BDC. You, you could feel the switch of BDC just, like, started reading stealth and just knew the match but what to do. Yeah, there was, like, a clear, decisive change. And it went from, honestly, like I said, I love seeing that when it's like, well, you lose a round, but you lose a round where you, if you played that way the entire round, you would have won. You mm -hmm. made an adjustment that will be useful, it just wasn't that round. Yeah. And right. we saw those from BTC in game one, and in game, and the rest of the games, it just turned into wins. Alright, so it looks like next up on stream we'll have... This is our final match of the night, right? Uh, I, oh, I misread the um, sheets. Apparently there there's going to be another match after this. Okay. We were doing that! That's Trico rules, but we were using... I knew that. I asked to be... To lie to me. That, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on stream. To betray my trust on stream for your all's entertainment. We actually have two more matches left. 200% the amount of Street Fighter goodness. I wish I could hang up like that. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do for streams. I'm gonna start working on it. You're gonna, you're gonna be like JP. We're gonna give you a stick. We're working on that six pack. <laughs> We're working on that six pack. That part might take a while. But I hear that a whole lot with hanging upside down. So that might be pretty good. Alright. Kimberly. Oh my gosh. We've had so many Kimberly's. <laughs> I feel like I'm seeing Kimberly everywhere now. There is this, like, similarity of flavors in this game. I feel like, uh, Cammy and Kimberly and, uh, Jury kind of all have the similar, like, our medium kicks are kind of, kind of going to look the same. Our plus moves are kind of the same. If there's something Street Fighter, competitive Street Fighter is known for, is that crouching medium kick is really good one. It's just a universally good one. It button. sure <laughs> is. To a ridiculous degree in comparison to any other franchise. Like the, the fact that a move like that would be special against her. But you can't change it now. Crunky doesn't want to. Starting out with the perfect. We got a JP in there. We got uh, Dragonfly. Glad to see that. I thought we might make it a tournament without a JP player. I shunned the mere thought of it. Top Gun, I'm pretty sure they've been busy these past two flex fights because I don't know where they've been. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because Top Gun didn't enter tonight nor um, at last flex fights. Oh, wow. oh my gosh, tried to get the reset with the hula again. I love the attempt. Wow, the level one catches. I thought JP was going to go through Kimby. Crunky off guard, but oh my gosh, the spinning knuckle was enough to avoid all of them. Got uh, to close to find the truth. Close to catching something, but Crunky stubborn spoon fan is philosophy. I mean, yeah, Cammy is pretty good. I feel like it's a pretty good matchup for JP. Is that gonna work on the Well, I mean, she has, like, so many tools to just deny all of JP's, like, zoning. And I'm saying this, but... <laughs> Kimber er, oh my gosh, this is the second time I've called Kami Kimberly. Someone help me. I'm seeing Kimberly everywhere. <laughs> it's the Kentucky curse. Scott, you gotta help me. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I can't not see Kimberly everywhere. <laughs> you know, you take two doses of Dalsam. <laughs> we gotta find the dolls and players here. It's also really gonna help with flexibility. 